Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you something that's really awesome and that's coming to you with ScoreFlash version 2.1. So let's say you got ScoreFlash and you're playing with it and you think it's really awesome and you put all kinds of messages um, on screen and then you check the stats. So here we got six draw calls, that's just the geometry. Um, and now when I hit play, I'm up for a little surprise. That's like 280 and you think to yourself, oh my God, this is crazy. This is not gonna run mobile. I mean, actually this demo does run on the iPad, um, but well, 280 draw calls is just, well, not really nice. And it's actually not that surprising because in fact, um, Scoreflash tells you about that. As you can see here under readability and performance tweaks, um, it tells you that it's one draw call per message, one on mobile, nine on desktop. The reason is that on desktop I'm using that outline and that's what really makes it um, pretty intense. And on mobile actually it's um, quite a lot less unless you say um, render outline on mobile. But we really don't want to go there because let's say you got NGUI on your system and you want to use it with ScoreFlash. This is now possible. And the, the best thing about it is that what you're going to see now, like the changes I'm, changes I'm making, um, is very similar to what you're going to do once the new Unity GUI system comes out. I mean, we don't know what exactly this is going to look like, but it's going to be somewhat similar to what I'm doing um, well, with, with some changes, which are dependent on how they implement that in detail. Anyway, so the first thing that we need is um, obviously um, NGUI in our project. So I'm going to get that real quick from the asset store. I already got that. I just need to import it. Import, import. Now that takes a little while. And it's um, if you already have Angular in your project, the um, example scene and also the um, prefab that I deliver um, with ScoreFlash actually rely on the examples being in the project. Uh, if you don't have those, uh, well, either you can re import them or you can set things up the way you need to um, with your own Atlas and all these things just as a little heads up that um, I'm relying on that stuff to be there. But it's yeah fairly easy to fix that if you need to. So now we got NGUI in our project and what you need is something that comes with ScoreFlash and you find that under plugins, Noriana games, ScoreFlash, custom rendering. Custom rendering is a folder that has a few custom renderers. There's a few that come with ScoreFlash like um, a GUI text one which really doesn't make that much sense. It's more like a proof of concept because Gutex doesn't support scaling and also doesn't support um, rotating. So it's really not that much fun to use that with ScoreFlash. But um, the other one is Unity GUI, which um, basically does the same thing that the default ScoreFlash renderer does. But um, yeah, it, it does so in, with, with a custom renderer. So that's also just um, for example or demonstration purposes. What we are interested in is what's coming new with version 2.1 of ScoreFlash and that is this little package. And if you double click that and decompress it, decompress it you'll see that this has uh, a folder and GUI ScoreFlash, an example scene, a little C sharp script and a prefab. And we're going to import that. And just in case you're using uh, JavaScript or Boo, um, you'd have to move that under plugins and you probably also have to move NGUI under plugins. I mean, if you're using that from JavaScript um, or Boo, you probably already have that done, so you don't have to do it anymore, but um, because otherwise you, you can't access that due to the compilation order. So what we have now is almost everything that we need. If you have a look at ScoreFlash main layout, there is the first entry here, rendering. And this currently is set to Unity GUI using a GUI skin. I could also use a font directly. But what I'm interested in right now is using a custom renderer. The default renderer that's in there is Unity GUI. Well, that doesn't really change anything. It even uses the skin. So that's not what we want, but we want to use that um, score flash renderer in GUI. So we put that in here. And now what we need to do is set up NGUI. This hasn't happened in that scene yet, so we still need to do it. I'm going to create a 
new UI with the tool that comes with Angui. It's not great. That's what I wanted. There you go. And I will create a layer. Oh, I got it already. Well, you might have to create that, that layer in GUI. Well, if you have in GUI in your project, you probably don't need to do that. But um, just to be sure that you don't forget it, create your GUI. That's it. The next important thing to do is just to see if this is working. I'm going to create a widget real quick. This is already set up correctly with the sci-fi atlas. I'm using the example atlases here. You could use your own. Um, okay, I see the new label. And actually you could, if you wanted to, now set this up with the score flash renderer and GUI, put that here. And then you could create a prefab from that. Actually, I'm going to do that for you. So you see how it works. Um, my own NGUI renderer prefab. And then you put that, I'm going to put that here under NGUI score flash. And then I can delete it. And then I need to change this, my own NGUI prefab. Now this is the one, and one thing that you must not forget, this is really important, because if I hit play now, I'll have a little surprise because nothing's going to work. Um, that's not so great. So I need to, you also get this message, you can't place widgets on a layer different than the um, UI panel that manage, manages them. That's actually a, um, an error message coming from NGUI, but the reason is because I did something wrong in my setup for score flash. I missed adding the custom parent for renderer instances. What you see here is that by default, Scoreflash puts the renderers below Scoreflash. And obviously that doesn't work with NGUI. So what we need to do instead, we need to pull that panel and put it here uh, into the custom parent for renderer instances. And that's really flexible. I mean, this should work with EasyGUI. I haven't tested that yet. That yet. And with pretty much any GUI system that, that you are working with. If not, well, I'll change it to make it work. Um, another thing that you must not forget, um, let's see what happens if we see anything. We do see something, but you see the messages are all in the wrong location. And the reason is that for the uh, for this renderer to work, I need the anchor to be uh, top left. And I'm gonna write that in here, uh, top left for score of flash. If you need a different anchor, it's actually fairly easy to do that because you could implement your own um, implementation of score flash renderer base. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking the position from the, from the message and then put that position into the transform actually local position. And what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm doing a little bit of conversion to um, go from the coordinates that Scoreflash uses to the score coordinates that NGUI uses. And basically you could, by having different different formulas here, use any sort of, um, of anchor if you wish to, but why make it complicated when it's so easy? Just say top left and you're done. Now it should work. There you go. We're already done. And if you have a look at stats, we're now at 19. And the reason is because we still got that GUI, which is based on Unity GUI. Here we go. Seven, while we don't have that little sphere here that's coming, that adds one draw call, but that has nothing to do with score flash. That's just an object that needs a draw call. So it's that easy and it will be that easy, most likely, unless um, the UT guys are doing something crazy with the new GUI system of Unity, but for now, you can use Angui if you have it. So I hope you really enjoy that and um, I'll talk to you on the forums, hopefully. See you soon.